Hey guys, so today we're gonna to show you how to tape your cast nets for shrimping. Had a couple of people request this. It's what we do for uh, shrimping when we're in deeper water uh, during the daytime. Gives it a really good flare, stuff like that. The thing to remember when you do it is get you a good quality, high sticky duct tape. If you get that cheap stuff from, from two rolls for like five bucks from Home Depot, You'll be redoing it in a year. It'll come apart. We're actually using Gorilla Tape. G-Tape yep. is what we call it for short. Nowadays, you can actually buy it with the mesh sewn into the rim. Um, so I'll put a link if you're interested in that. Save you some time, but this is a cheaper alternative. So we used to always do, and it works good for us. Exactly. Save you. Save you a little moolah. One tip to remember is when you're taping it, don't tape over your drawstrings. So these. Which is what pulls the net in. You want to make sure you go underneath it so your drawstring's free. Once I get started, what I'll do is I'll find that drawstring, and make sure I'm under it. Now, what you, when you when you tape it, you want to leave just a little bit of your uh, little room in between your your um, drawstring. In your tape about like this so what that does is it creates a parachute effect if you put it straight on there you don't you lose that so you want to leave just about uh, maybe what an inch inch and a half of it and lay it out like that pull it down and as you go kind of stretch it and then pop it like that now you ready for the second one yeah all right now if you kind of hold the net right there yeah all right once you start it Put it right about like yay. You want to make sure you kind of keep it even, even along the way. So what I'll do is I'll just kind of roughly do it like that. And I'm gonna pass it down to Jeremy. What his job to do is is to seal it into where you can see the the mesh of the net and the tape. One of the things I try to do is I work about a foot of tape at a time. And then that way it's a little more manageable. If you, if you get too much out there, you start getting it kinked and all. Did I get it right? Like that. Like, like I said, I like to keep my uh, string kind of tight. Remember what we told our viewers not to do? Several weeks. No, uh, getting the jawstring in the thing. Did I do that? <laughs> the front door. I don't know where did that happen. I was looking for that. Well, we did this on purpose because because you're probably going to do this, and we want to show you how to fix this kind of an issue. You see how hard that tape is to move. So you want to get yeah. up close. Do not do that. Yeah. All right. So what I got to do now? Is I got to get this off of it. Take the string out. And you hold it up for sure. Yeah. Come up through there. Come up through there. Bring it back here. There we go. Now we're, now we're good. Yeah. <laughs> you ever heard that song Mama told me not to be done? Actually, guys, if you wear long britches, you can keep the air on your legs. So, quick tip wear long pants, which neither of us have done. Let's talk about the size of net you need when you're shrimping. Anybody have any idea what, what's a good size? What do you think, Jeremy? Um. I don't know, depending on what you want to throw, six to eight foot. Six to eight foot, depending on what kind of shape you're in, really. Um, you start throwing a 10, 12 foot net all day long, and uh, it's gonna have its toll on this. Most of the nets are kind of heavy. Even when you get that big, if it's not a lot of lead line, it's a lot of length, which there's a lot of leads. 
And when I say not lay when it's not a lot of weight per per foot, some of the uh, nets will, that's how you buy them, they'll say so many pounds of lead per foot. Mm-hmm. And the, uh, the advantage of it is it sinks fast, but with shrimping, you don't need it to sink fast. And with the tape, it sinks even slower. Right. So what you, what you want to do is get a net that you can comfortably throw. But the bigger the net, the more shrimp because you cover a bigger area above. Seems seems like what works well is like, you know, when we start and we're looking for the shrimp, kind of prospect with the little net. Mm-hmm. And you're like, okay, they're running good. We found them good. Time and to can, break out the big net. Yeah. And even then, after a while, you go back to the small net. Yeah, because then you're about wore out. If you bring you plenty to drink along with you, because it works on you, especially usually when these shrimp are running. Yeah, the best in Florida is hot. You know, your best shrimp, the shrimp gets starting to get big around uh, September. So that gives them a chance to grow a little bit. You'll get, you'll get more earlier, but they just won't have the size to them that I have let them grow up a little bit and you'll have some big shrimp. Now this is the spot we've been looking for, the end. And what you want to do is you don't want to overlap your other tape um, on the smooth side. It's good to do the sticky sides together. If you have just a slight uh, um, um, opening in it, it's better because don't let the water get up under the tape and, and get, um, get it set right So no overlap. What's that? No overlap. I don't do it. I don't do it overlap like sixes. Water tends. Hold that for a sec. Water tends to get up under there and uh, yeah, hold it up a little bit. Make sure I see it right there. Try not to catch net, that's not a good thing. So that's all there is to taping your cast nets. Hope this video helps you out. If you have any questions, just comment below, and we'll see you next time. Mm-hmm.